Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is, well, as British classic cars go in the late 1960s um, I don't think they probably get more recognisable than the uh, absolutely beautiful curves of the Mark II Jaguar but of course by this stage they refer to this car as the 240 uh, there's a clue to the engine size um, this particular car is an older restoration, it was restored um, approximately 10 years ago uh, and, and it's lived uh, quite an easy life on the island of Guernsey. Um, difficult to go too fast on the motorway in that, in that country because there isn't, there isn't any. However, um, you can see how lovely she looks presented in a striking British racing green quintessential colour for the Mark II Jaguar in my humble opinion. This is pretty much the uh, last of them because in 1968 when this car was built, April 68, um, of course the introduction of the Jaguar XJ came out, superseded this car and it's fair to say the XJ's had a pretty decent production run since. So as I walk around this car, initially I'm just going to give you an idea of how well she's presented and just how lovely she looks at um, four paces and then we get a bit closer and I will do my best to point out within this video any sort of areas of imperfection that you're likely to be interested in because the car as I say was restored uh, approximately 10 years ago and in that time, we're going to find when we zoom in some areas that would need addressing if you wanted to make the car perfect, if you wanted to take the car to shows, that sort of thing. Um, and as we look around the car, you can see the two areas of bubbling in those front wings. You see a bit of paint in the uh, crack in the paint there. That's a very solid looking door for the driver. We see some cracking here uh, of the paint in the um, rear passenger uh, offside door. Uh, spats in um, excellent condition. Um, chrome in the middle here could be rechromed. That section override is perfect. Some patina showing through on the tops of these uh, these rear lights. Uh, mildly on the top of that uh, rear uh, number plate light. Stainless steel exhaust. This car's uh, in recent times had a full set of matching uh, tyres which are excellent and really make a big difference to the way these cars drive. This particular model is a non-power steering but it does have um, its uh, huge steering wheel which does really make these quite drivable at speed. The car doesn't wander like some of these uh, Jaguars tend to. Good steering on this particular car. Manual gearbox, manual override and of course the uh, 240 uh, talks about the engine size. Now the later cars actually did have a little more brake horsepower. Um, um, initially they had about 120 and then they kicked out another, was it another 12? I'm going to have to remember my history lessons here, but I've got a feeling there's probably some Jaguar experts there. Because I think it went up to about 130, 233 brake horsepower in these later cars. Um, don't for a minute think that because this car is not the Super Speed 3.8, uh, it's any sloth, it does drive really well. The manual gearbox uh, helps stir this engine. She goes well, she pulls strongly in every gear, handles just like a Jaguar should. And in fact, just to remember what the uh, initial design uh, from Sir William Lyons, he always spoke about uh, the maximum of grace, pace and space. And that's certainly is true of these wonderful Mark II Jaguars. Um, there's a lot of fans of the Mark I Jaguar. Um, in fact, the Mark II gave us more space, more glass space. Um, 
and in fact uh, you'll see a lot more Mark II's around and I'm gonna zoom in and have a look on the inside as well now the woodwork is in particularly nice order can you see how lovely that is by this stage we had a plastic dash top uh, there's a nice original radio in there um, lovely steering wheel the ambler trim is in pretty excellent condition i'm going to show you that through the window there can you see how good the seats are really very good interior an excellent headlining which isn't always the case with some of these old cats uh, really good carpets let's go into the rear if it's going to let me in i can show you the condition of the rear seat as well that's excellent Very, very good. Very hard wearing interior, these. You can see the 